Technology transfer is really the process of moving intellectual property or new inventions from the university sector to the public sector, getting the, that good invention into the hands of a company that can turn it into a great product for the benefit of everyone. With the IU Emerging Technology Center, our incubator, we've created 256 new high-tech jobs in downtown Indianapolis at an average salary of $61,000 apiece that weren't here three years ago. So that's a big impact on the community and the trickle-down effect on tax revenue and on buying power and on the number of high-tech people that we have here in central Indiana. There's a better mix than people realize of the types of companies we deal with and the types of technologies. Indiana University is foremost in its promotion and its efforts in information technology, for example. Probably 60% of the work we do is indeed life sciences oriented, but another 40% is information technology, informatics, bioinformatics, and other areas, even down to sociology and education and business that we operate in those arenas. Most of the researchers know us by now and we know them very very well, so if something comes up that they believe is a new product or a new invention, they usually contact us or we meet with them on a frequent basis to find out what's going on. We take that invention, we evaluate it for patentability, for marketability, and for general usage to find out if the public really wants it and can use it, and if it is protectable as university intellectual property, and then we go out and contact uh, after we've gotten a patent or a copyright, companies that can turn that product into a good invention. We write a license contract and bingo, we're done. I think one in particular that I'd mention has been the Halon Group, which was a company out of the IU School of Nursing. Uh, they were in our uh, building about two years and they went from four employees to over 46 in just a two-year time period. They've since graduated from the uh, incubator about a year ago and have now recently been sold and incorporated into CareGuide, a larger company that will help them even further their product status out there. Another good example is Therometric Technologies, a company out of the IU School of Dentistry, uh, which has expanded into three different research areas, into pet food applications, into early cavity detection, and also into service organization type uh, material for Procter & Gamble and other companies to test new products for them. So those are just two examples out of the many that we have. That Angel Learning is the top corporation that's come out of Indiana University in the past 10 years. Angel Learning has progressed rapidly. They have uh, uh, over 90 employees now, I believe. Uh, they have a good dominant market share in their area of expertise. It's been a tremendous success story for the university in that this corporation is now nationally and internationally known in the field of educational portal software. And it started as basically a small company working out of IURTC's offices with just a couple of employees about five years ago. There's no question that having a, uh, a biotechnology group like ours in downtown has made an impact on the life sciences initiative here with Bio Crossroads and some of our other partners in attracting top scientists to Indiana University and IUPUI and the IU School of Medicine and also helping market inventions that may not have been marketed in the past and turning them into great products for everyone's benefit.